talking about the preferences of children, one childhood hero who has never lost his popularity is the deep sea diver. Yet these days, with our attention drawn to unexplored worlds above us, the exploration that is always going on in that vast world under the sea sometimes takes a back seat. So to refresh our memories, we visit a school for divers at Chessington, Surrey, where instruction is being given in underwater methods of working in first aqualung equipment. Aqualung equipment is usually associated with sport, but for certain types of work in shallow water, say a preliminary inspection or simple repairs, it has proved more practical than the standard gear. The normal training period for this and other types of diving is five days, enough for a student to learn the general principles. But apart from natural ability, only experience can make a good diver. However, to the onlooker, the aqualung diver somehow lacks the glamour of the conventional figure who, in countless stories, fought with knives and often bare hands against monsters of the deep. Apparently, that's no longer necessary, but there's still plenty of work for the good diver. Actually, although this suit is so familiar, it's comparatively recent in design, going back only a hundred odd years, when you consider that Alexander the Great is recorded as having gone down in a machine called a kalympha, which kept him dry and admitted light. A couple of gentle taps, a spanner would do, gives the diver the go-ahead. It's too late to back out now. Without getting too technical, it's interesting to note that in terms of air pressure, every 33 feet of water is equal to one atmosphere. Thus, as the diver sinks, the pressure in his suit has to be built up gradually, 15 pounds per square inch for every 33 feet. With this type of suit, a diver can stay below for two or three hours, tackling practically any type of work. In this tank, of course, everything is supervised by instructors. Furthermore, the depth at which divers work here presents no problem, but one of the real hazards they may have to face later is a condition called the bends, brought about by a too rapid ascent from deep water. A little trickier than using a saw underwater is learning to use an acetylene burner. Major problem being the rapid loss of heat. However, at least the diver can't burn himself because the molten metal is water-cooled almost as soon as it gets hot. Diving is a scientific job these days, but it still has its dangers and isn't a profession anyone would tackle. So let's thank this school for doing a fine job.